Today we will talk about enhancements brought to the case management processes. We will discuss both the agent and admin experience. This feature is focused on providing cleaner UI and easier navigation. Firstly, we introduce subtle colors for case status and priority icons while creating a case which provides easy discoverability. Secondly, while adding a case to a queue, agents get to see a filtered list of only relevant queues to which a case can be added. For example, agents no more see messaging queues or voice queues in the queue lookup since a case can't be added to those queues. This provides clarity to agents and avoid unnecessary clicks and validation errors. Also, once a case gets added to the queue, and if agents attempt to add it to a queue again, the dialog box shows the queue as pre-filled value in the lookup. This gives the clue to agents that the case is already added to the queue. Once a case gets added to a private queue and agents try to assign work by field to a particular user, the lookup only shows relevant users who are members of the private queue since the work by field can only be assigned to the members of the private queue. These improvements are applicable for any queue enabled entity. Lastly, we improved case resolution process. When agents try to resolve a case with open activities, the dialog box shows a direct link to open activities using which the agents can navigate directly to open activities tab and mark them as complete. This reduces unnecessary clicks. Once all activities are marked complete, they initiate the case resolution process and see a clutter-free case resolution dialog box showing only the mandatory fields required for resolving the case. Now let's see how administrators can control the case resolution process. The administrators can choose to select any other tab where agents should be redirected to when they click on open activities link from the dialog during case resolution. To enable this, administrators can navigate to Power Apps Maker portal and click solutions. Select the required solution and add the setting to the solution by clicking on Add Existing on the command bar and then click on Setting option under More. Search with Redirect User to Specific tab to find the right setting and add it to the solution. Next step is to add applications to the solution. For this, they can click on Add Existing once again and select Model Driven App under App. Add the customer service workspace to the solution. Now they can open the setting and the default value is nav activities. To override this value, administrators can put the required tab name in the setting environment value field. The administrators can also define this value at the app level if required. Additionally, if the administrators want to disable the minimal case resolution dialog, they can add the setting Enable minimum case resolution dialog using the same process and select no in the setting environment value field. This helps administrators to switch back to their previous standard case resolution dialog. Thank you.